We are here at the Sebring Expo and we're getting a chance to look at an airplane that we've seen before in the United States, but then it kind of disappeared for a while and here it is again, it's back. This is the Collier, that's the brand, and it's the Freedom and it's the S100 model. Now the company has made some land airplanes and some other variations, but this is obviously a seaplane, an amphibious seaplane at that. We're speaking today with Santi, and he's going to do his last name for me because I'm afraid I'll make a mess of it, and Bill McKee. I'm Dan Johnson, and we're going to have a little closer look at the Collier Freedom. Santi, please introduce yourself yes. for us. Yeah, I'm Santi Villanueva. Um, I'm from Spain. And, uh, I'm, I've been involved in aviation since I was you know, a teenager. Uh, my dream was to be you know, a commercial pilot. I became a commercial pilot, and then you know, because my father passed away, dedicated to work in other fields. Uh, luckily, a few years ago, I got the opportunity to come back to Lakeland, a place that I love, and I bought my own airport, and uh, we became, you know, science. Is that how you two connected? Basically, the day that, that I, uh, that I there they did a marketing thing, and he was landing on a beautiful steerman, and uh, we became friends, you know, and we were like buddies since then. So you're gonna hang up the steerman and start flying the Collier? Oh, well. Or are you going to fly I a boat? nothing, fly everything. I have the Bonanza, the Stearman, and the, the Collier. A uh, guy with all the right toys, I and, see. And, and the lake, too. Yeah. And yeah. so now you're going to be flying in the uh, Freedom. Yes. On a regular basis, huh? And so, as I said, it kind of disappeared for, from us for a while. Now you're going to be bringing it back in. The manufacturing is staying the same. It's a Spanish aircraft, so this is where it always emanated from before and now. Uh, and that's going to continue as it was, but now you're going to represent it and uh, right near Lakeland? Yes. yes, in Lakeland, right. Right in the city of, huh? Well, the city and in his. Yeah, the ranch will be conducting uh, to people that they already have, you know, the certification, you know, the transition from, you know, to flying any other plane to this one. We'll do some, uh, you know, free things to help people. Sure, that's uh, that's always a that. good idea. Or, you know, I mean, in, uh, if somebody wants to get a, you know, a training on the on seaplane to get the certificate, to, you know, to be able to fly, there is a uh, Jack Brown's seat, you know, base. In, right uh, there, in not the very far away. I mean, Lakeland is probably the mecca year long of aviation. Yeah, so, well, they're actually right. gearing up to do even more that way, yeah, so your so proximity uh, is very yeah. good that way. Well, let's talk about the airplane a little bit. Uh, this is not one I've had a chance to fly. It's time in the U.S. before it was a little too short. I never got the chance. Tell me a little bit about some of its flight characteristics. How, how is it in the water, first of all? Uh, well, it handles extremely well. It's built uh, with cable art and um, fiberglass, so it's extremely, you know, well uh, built. It's light, it's strong. Uh, recently, he can tell you he flew out of uh, Lantana with uh, the owner of this particular plane. Uh, both of them, they're, you know, uh, not on the... We're not too small. We're not... Well, you know, I'm looking at the cockpit here, and I was in it uh, where the seat bill is occupying now, and, well, first of all, for, you can see the leg room because the instrument panel comes down with the canopy, so the instrument panel's all up here, and we'll rotate that down, and then you get to access all that. That doesn't look like that would cramp you too much, but right now you have immense leg room in here, and the cockpit is quite wide, so, and quite high. I don't know, how tall are you? Uh, You're going to give five, it to me in meters, I know. Five, no, 5'9". Five nine, five nine. <laughs> okay, I've been in the States for many years. I, <laughs> I, I know that. the system. Well, uh, so 5'9", if you were 6'3", or 4", you, you might be still, getting up there, but you'd still fit in there. Well, I have a Lake Amphibian, and I know I love that plane. Actually, on the Lake Amphibian, I'm, I'm, I'm almost touching. Is that right? So, on, so on this the, is considerably know, roomier than for, a Lake Amphibian. Yeah, for two people, yes. And I'm guessing it's also considerably less expensive than a, than a and if you could buy a new Lake Amphibian. Yes, uh, well, Lake is a, is a, is a gorgeous plane but this is better on the side I mean not better is they're different things this one uh, you only burn you know top five gallons per hour and you can put any gas in it. so what engine are you running in this uh, freedom the Rotex 912 okay so the 912 100 horsepower you're using I'm sure okay and uh, all right so it's a retractable gear airplane where's the retract mechanism I'm not seeing that obviously Here's okay up on the panel here I'm going to pull it down to you a little bit and if you can get your camera in there with me holding the canopy, you got a couple of switches. So, so, so it's an electric, electric retract. It's an electric yeah. retract. And, hydraulic. Yeah. and you got an emergency landing gear extension here, right here. This is the emergency extension. It will. And that will use gravity. Yep. Okay. That will so it'll drop down, place. go to over center position. Okay. okay. Um, so what that does is release the hydraulic, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. It will just let it, and it will lock in place. Okay. It's, uh, it's very, very safe. 
Uh, this plane also, I mean, the fact that, uh, you know, the engine is certified now for 2,000 hours. And right. uh, actually when it turns 2,000 hours, which is a lot of flying time, you can actually sell that plane, that motor to water, you know, to any water uh, rafting, you know, company or go kart company. For a non-aviation use. Yeah, and you just put a brand new one. Right. That's very simple to do, and you don't have the hassle of going. You know, instead, I mean, if you got a, a beautiful light coming, like the one in my plane, the light coming is an amazing, you know, engine, but it's more expensive. Sure. And Considerable this, and I mean, some more weight as well. When you so turn, you... when you're on, you know, when you're already 40 and you don't have, you have your life kind of, you know, in a good plane, you don't care which plane you fly. But when you're 20s, this you can actually, you know, you can actually afford it, which is, you know. Well, and with fuel prices being what they are, uh, the appeal of an airplane that can operate on that fuel economy with this engine is just going to increase. So I saw you do something earlier, and I'm looking just beyond Bill's foot there, and it's a it's a nice carpeted interior, but there looks like a what I would call a kick panel, but it's not a kick panel. Nope. And what is that for? You've got one on each side here, do you? And I think. Well, it's just when you know when you land on the on the water, you know, just for the docking purposes, <laughs> it's quite simple. It fits right in alongside you there, and so. Uh, that's the way you maneuver an airplane uh, in the water and to position yourself to pull up to a dock or whatnot. You could also beach the airplane, I presume. Yes, yes, you can. It so. has enough power and it's light enough. And another beauty of it that I like is that you can take the wings apart and actually we sell it with uh, with a trailer so you can you don't have to spend money on a hangar. Ah, okay. Uh, so say the same and also the, the fact trailer. there is so many airports that they don't have hangar space available. Yeah, it's surprising, isn't it? You'd think yeah. there'd be a lot more, but you know, airplanes that can fold their wings or remove their wings have some special appeal that way. You can take it home and uh, you can park it in your garage. Well, as long as we mentioned the wings, I'm kind of sighting down the leading edge here as I look at you, and I know this airplane has quite a span to it. What is the span of well, the airplane? The span right now is over 12 meters, but the fact that the spaces available for hangars in the U.S. They're less than most of them. They're 40 feet wide. They're actually, and I was lucky enough to fly one on January 5th with the new wings. They're going to be 37 feet. You're roughly. currently about 43 feet, isn't it? Yes. No, 40, no, 40 feet, just a little over 40. Just feet. a little over 40, and you're going to offer one that is 36. Yes, they're okay, they're so doing they're, those ones. They're, they're still on, uh, you know, they're still on flying. I flew the first set of them. Did you? Okay. And I feel the same. The only thing is that being a little shorter and a little wider, the, gla the glacial for the, I mean, the radio yeah, the, glacial. The water run huh? is the a little glider, longer. It, it slows down a little bit, but right now this one as it is, is a beauty because it really glides. I mean, and the engine, you see, you can, the drag is almost, it's not an issue because the engine is right. Yeah, no, it's, it's very well behind the wing. It's very yeah, aerodynamic. There's, there's only a little bit of that sticking up. We can see in the camera's yeah. view here and, quite uh, easily, so. Noise-wise, I mean, noise-wise is very quiet uh, because the noise goes that way. Sure. So you don't really hear it. And all the, you know, the headsets, to put them in there right here. You better think And I saw right the here. hooks up there, yep. Okay. So it's, uh, it's very comfy. And if you close it, you will see how, I mean, you know, how it's still plenty of Well, let's go ahead and do that. In fact, we'll close the video out with you closing the canopy. But before we do that, we've given everybody a little bit of information. They're watching this on their computer. This is on YouTube. It's on my website, on Dave's website, and other places. And uh, so they can see right away, and we'll put it up on the screen. But what's the web address that we want to use to get uh, more information? The web address? The web address, yes. Okay, it's called Galicia Avionica. Um, let me give we'll, you we'll, we'll, we'll put it up on the screen. We'll get that okay. information so they'll see that, but it's Galicia Avionica. Yes, that's uh, Avionica. That's Avionica, the, uh -huh. okay. That's the advertisement uh, marketing. And this is the company you said that's really going to do the marketing for mm -hmm. it while Collier continues to yes. build the aircraft. Yes. Okay, very good. Well, as we close out the video, we'll say thank you to Bill McKee, and I'll just do Sante again. That's, that's good. No <laughs> and thank you for permitting me that. But let's go ahead and close the canopy, uh, bring it down nice and slow for us, and we'll let us let everyone see what it looks like when you're ready to go fly. Okay, thank you thank very you much. so much, fellas. Take care. Bye. Well, there they are. It looks pretty comfortable in there. A lot of room. We'll have more information about this as it continues to come back into the U.S. market. I'll put that up on my website as well. That's bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for joining us here on this video.